Artist Von Brady was in the theater industry creating props and set designs until September 11th of 2001. After the Twin Tower attack, Brady was inspired by the firefighters to join the Hillsborough Fire Department. Yeah, now nearly 20 years later, he's still fighting fires and creating art. Just last week, his piece titled Bait Ball was unveiled at its permanent home, the St. Pete Fairgrounds. We do want to warn you here, there is a strobe light warning for this exhibit. One, two, three. I'm a captain with Hillsborough County Fire Rescue. I've been there for uh, almost 20 years now. I, I grew up in Hillsborough County in Tampa. I love to swim in Florida Springs and the aquifer and explore caves and things like that. That's, that's my favorite part of Florida. I kind of concocted this story about a diver who goes down in the, in the caves of Wakulla Springs. The idea is that you're kind of in the, in the Florida aquifer witnessing this spinning ball of mullet. This is a, a 3D zoetrope. Um, it's a kind of a three-dimensional flip book that's animated by the use of a strobe light using a lot of uh, 3D printed parts. The sound is a, is a combination of a binaural beat soundtrack and then there's some spoken pieces taken from Florida oral histories and Dora Neale Hurston singing some kind of Florida folk song. The form of this structure is based off of those fish traps and it's designed to enclose the viewers but also kind of put them in this aquatic environment. It's, it starts out as this static installation and then things start to spin and move and then the strobe light comes on and you have this other realization that there's something else at work there. It's an illusion that's created, but then the ball stops spinning and people can kind of investigate how it works and what the process is. And that's kind of the last part of the process for me is people learning how these illusions are created and then being able to understand what's going on. Being a firefighter, I'm kind of, I've, I've always been interested in sort of extreme in environments and things that, you know, that a lot of people don't get to see. And while there are only six fish that are seen swimming in the animation, Brady says it took a total of 254 3D printed fish to create the flip book style movement. The bait ball immersive art exhibit is now open at the St. Pete Fairgrounds and it's included with daily admission there.